In this video, we're going to be creating incredible custom maps that you can use in your bubble app. We're going to be using Mapbox to do this. So the first step is going to be signing up for a Mapbox account. Uh, it is a paid service, but they do have a very generous free tier option. Then from there, we're going to head back over to our bubble editor and search for the plugin Beautiful Maps Mapbox. So once you have your plugin installed, you're going to need a access token, um, which we can do from the Mapbox account here. So if we click create a token, we're going to name this Maps Project. And then you can leave these as the default scopes here. What I would recommend doing is um, adding in your app's URL here, just so that if anyone does get hands on your access token, it won't work for them as it's limited to your URL. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to click the preview button. And then we're just going to copy everything that is before the version test path here. Copy that and paste that in here. And then we'll click create token. And then you can copy your token here and paste it in to the plugin field here. So now that we have everything set up, we can add the Mapbox map element to our page. Uh, just like so, as you can see, there's a lot of different options here. We're gonna start out just by customizing the size. So we're gonna center our map, uh, we'll make it the full width, and maybe we'll make it a maximum height of 600, just like so. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So as you can see, we have our map here. Obviously, uh, we aren't going to want the default section of Europe because we are doing a US-based map. So we'll want it centered more on the United States. We also might want to adjust the zoom slightly as well. So back in our, our editor, how we're going to do that is uh, in our style section here, we're going to adjust the zoom to perhaps uh, maybe six, zoomed in slightly more. And then we also need to grab the latitude and longitude of where we want the map to be centered. So if we go to Google Maps and we find where we would like our map to be centered, we can right click on the map and copy the uh, coordinates here. And then from there, we can copy and paste them into their respective values. So what I like to do is just copy and paste it into here and then just grab one component at a time. So I'll grab the latitude first. And then we'll grab the longitude. Perfect. Let's take a look at what we're working with now. Perfect. The Mapbox plugin does come up with a number of different styles um, that are built into Mapbox. So let's take a look at what the outdoor style looks like. As you can see, it's kind of given a little bit more shading to some of the geographic features. However, what we're going to do for this tutorial is add a custom layer through Mapbox with some different data sets. So to do that, we need to head back over to our Mapbox account. Then we're going to head over to Mapbox Studio. You're going to click on Tile Sets and New Tile Set. And then from here, you can upload your GeoJSON uh, data for this project. In this case, we're going to upload some US Census data that has population density and make a map based on that. Of course, you're free to use whatever data set you may like, and there are many interesting data sets freely available online that you can find. So to get started with creating a custom style for your map, you're going to go back to your Mapbox Studio, select Classic Template from this dropdown, and then you can choose whichever one you like to start with, and then you can customize it. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer, and this is going to be a custom layer. And then we're going to select that uh, GeoJSON data that we had uploaded previously. As you can see, it's showing all in green here. So what we need to do is adjust the styling. So if we click on the Style tab, and then Style by Density, and then select the Density value. 
Now, the idea behind this map is that we want to show a heat map of population density by state. So states with a higher population density will be more colored in red, and states with a lower population density will be more colored in yellow. We can add in some stop levels to achieve this. And then this will be the various stops that we have in our data set. Uh, so we're going to add several stops in here. And then we're going to adjust them for each of our desired stop levels for our color. And then we're going to adjust our color values along the side here as well. Then from there, once you have all of your color values set up, you can click Publish. And then you need to click on the Share button, scroll down a bit, and copy this style URL. Then we're going to head back to our bubble editor and paste the style URL into the custom style URL field, change this to custom, and then we can preview what this is going to look like. So this is how you create a custom Mapbox Studio map and add it to your bubble app. Of course, this is just one example of how to create a custom map. There are a ton of other ways you can customize your map. And of course, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section.